So we had a little change of plans. We're going to, for our hike, we're going to a uh, little north Sandy Am Trail. Lacey didn't want to do Opal Creek, so um, she didn't want to walk on the road. She wanted a real trail, so she's a little hardcore. So anyways, that's what we're doing. Um, started head out. Looked like there were some people getting ready to do some uh, trail maintenance on this. Um, poor street guy talked to him. Said there's probably about six trees down. So we're going to try to go from here to three pools and back, which is roughly about um, eight miles. So we'll see what happens. Lacey, where are we going today? Um, three pools. Three pools? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're on Little North Sandy End. So we got Chance and. Uh, we're heading down towards the river right now. A little more sandy am. Of course, Chance is in there playing. Looking sweet. Awesome day. Sun's out. Just kind of went off the trail really quick to come down here by the river. Lots of water. All the rapids you can see. Pretty cool. I love the green water. It's like a light green color. Lights is over there. Playing. <laughs> awesome day. Got some early season waterfalls coming off the trail here. Pretty sweet. Trail's kind of more or less creek bed. So, pretty sweet. We got a, a junction up here with the creek. Montanian uh, River and then the creeks on the which we're going to be going down to pretty soon. There's a bridge up here. So I think, yeah, we just gotta go up the hill and then around. So lots and lots of water, early snow melt. It's fun though. Check it out. See, looking around the back here, see the water over there. I see the trail, what it looks like. And the river back there. Pretty cool. It's a little obstructed, but there's a made like a big fall over there. It's just tons of water coming down and then it drops out right down there in between those rocks. Pretty sweet. Got a little bit better of a view over here. You can kind of see what's coming through there. Lots of water. Not the only thing, if you do it too hard, it will not stop from here today. Well, what, what about what backpack? Your poles. They had little poles that broke when you slipped on the rock and you fell on your Yeah, butt. that was when we were up above uh, Elk Lake and we were in the snow and they broke. So mm -hmm. I fell in, or they fell into a, like, kind of a deep snow hole and then it bent. Chance, come on, let's go. Chance! Lacey. Good call on this trail. <laughs> well, this is one, it looks like one of the blowdowns that uh, they were talking about. Going across the trail. We've, this is about the third one we've ran into, but you can just, people have just been walking around it. There's already other trails created going around it. Since we're early in the season, we're going to be running into this type of stuff. 
I would just walk through this on the edges because what you're doing is probably more dangerous than jump? yeah check that out freaking awesome you could actually walk down there but that big log right there fell in the trail so that's another thing they are gonna clear and we're headed up that way just kind of switch backs all the way up there's chance up there all the way up to the top of this peak and then we start going down the other side we just came from down there nice uh oh early spring hike water crossing <laughs> yeah oh, wait for me lace i want to go with you first A little hidden behind the trees, but there's a major waterfall over there, and the river's down there. So, and we're headed that way up. How do you feel, Lex? Good. All right, let's go. Got a little better view of that waterfall. Still kind of hidden. It's kind of cool. It splits into like three. Pretty awesome. First little view area. That up there is uh, the summit of Penland Mountain. As you can see, there was there's snow up there. I'm trying to work my way up there last week, but just too much snow still. So it's pretty awesome. All right, we reached our high point on this trail. Um, starting to get blooming flowers. Spring flower bloom. Not sure what those are, but they're very, really pretty. Yeah, this is pretty much the high point on the trail. We're gonna stop here and have a little break. I'm scared of that. A dog. big rock. And then, chance, get over here, buddy. Hinland Mountain over there. Background. You can see the ridge up there. Pretty sweet. Lacey taking a break. Alright. Alright. Heading down the trail to another cool bridge. Right down here. Chances down there. Right? He's playing in the water. Cruising along on this awesome day, probably about 50 some degrees. Nice. And another creek up here. Alright. We're almost to a campsite where we've camped before along this river. It's pretty cool. Pop it on once we get there. Got another makeshift bridge we're crossing. Coming down here pretty sweet. Can't play in the water. There is tons of down trees everywhere um, crossing the trail. So we've had kind of a workout, but it's all been doable. Um, those trail maintenance people got the work cut out for them. All right, we're coming down to our destination. It's a campsite that we've used quite a bit here off the North Sandy Am Trail as well as I'm sure other people have too. It's pretty pretty well maintained. It's not designated, but might as well be. It's just as nice as a designated one. So, we got a fire pit. Yeah, I know, people litter. So, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's big enough to put up some tents and stuff, and then you're like right a hair's breadth from the water, which is right down here. Coming down here. There's not as much as a beach as in the summer. In the summer, right? there's not as much water, so you got a little bit more of a beach, but there still is one. And it's a great swimming hole. 
in the summer too. The water's not going as fast in the summer and it's, it's like these rapids aren't really here at all. You can just go right out here and play in the pool of water. So the water level is probably about three feet lower in the summer. So you got that cool rock over there, you can swim across and jump off if you want. So we're gonna have lunch. So I'm gonna go up here at the campsite and do some lunch chance to play with. <laughs> Come on dog! Making lunch, uh, macaroni and cheese, and hot buffalo tuna for me. Lacey's just having regular mac and cheese. I just like termite houses. Yeah. How was that mac and cheese? Good. Yeah. And she had hot cocoa too. So, she likes hot cocoa, so I always bring I'm just having water. Water and uh, hot tuna buffalo style mac and cheese. <laughs> 